Blue Circle Cement Company held a barge match every year. All the staff would have the day off. They would lie in the banks of the river to support their favourite barge crews. They would take a picnic to watch the spectacle with the whole family. When the cement companies were amalgamated or taken over, they became the APCM, the Amalgamated Portland Cement Manufacturers, and amassed the largest fleet of sailing barges ever recorded, having a staggering total of 300 barges under sail, all carrying the Blue Circle emblem. They could be seen in profusion on the Medway, Swale and Thames, taking clay upstream to the cement works at Holborough and Hauling, or up to Snodland paper mills. They would return with a full hold for a passage up the Thames to London docks perhaps, as cement was a big export product at the time. You might have seen 40 barges in any one day on the Medway, but this was a zenith and everything was about to change. The Westmoreland was one of the last barges to take part in these matches. She was still seen by us in the early 70s. I really wanted to find out what happened to her. I made my way down to Lower Halstone, once a thriving barge community, with 20 or more sailing barges coming and going every day. When I got there, I saw a solitary barge on the blocks, the Edith May. I went on board to meet Jeff Granston, skipper and owner. Lower Halstone was formerly a brickworks um, in the dock area here. Um, eastwards were the brickmakers, they you traded from here right through till about 1966 and uh, they maintained the Westman. She, she was operated from this dock all her working life and she used to go across to Lee and pick up sand and bring back in the brick to put in the brick making process. Steel training is widely acknowledged as a, as a highly effective method of actually developing character and self-esteem, particularly amongst the young. It's also a way of giving deserving youngsters a thoroughly enjoyable and rewarding time. The ethos of those sailor men lives on in all those who take part in preserving and keeping these unique vessels under sail. Cambria had come a long way, but she still had a long way to go. And many of our future generations would get to know the Cambria in the years to come. But keeping the Cambria alive and active means a lot of work. Behind the scenes, a team of dedicated volunteers are continuously keeping her in tip-top shape and ready to sail.